Okay, so always trying to find a way to block electromagnetic frequencies. And if you're like me, you really don't have devices to check to find a way to do it. So um, one day I was thinking, you know, how can I block it? Let's take this old aluminum and the cell phone. I took this old roll of aluminum, wrapped it up like one time. You call it and it won't ring. Now you may not, you know, believe me, but it doesn't matter. Just try it yourself. It's aluminum foil. Uh, this is a little heavier, very aluminum foil, so it's not really the cheapest, but, um, but I thought I would try it and it worked. I thought, you know, if that works, because we use a telephone to test if there's a barrier to block electromagnetic frequencies for um, storing homeopathic medicines and also just to uh, block cell phone signals, right? So I thought, why not aluminum can? I need a can that's big enough that the phone will fit in. So I got a PC can. We cut the can in half, two cans, cut them in half so that you can put one on top of the other, which isn't that easy to do without finding a way to crimp the top. Um, it's kind of crude, but we keep homeopathic inside of it because it blocks cell phone signals. We're able to put the phone inside, put this down on top of it, call the phone, and it will not ring. We've tested it over and over, even with this old crinkled up can where it was loose and had gaps. Still, the signal was blocked. I thought, you know what? That's kind of nice uh, that we could take an aluminum can and do that, but there's some better ways to do it. This is like a prototype, but it actually works. So then we thought, you know what? Let's see if we can find a better way to do this because um, there's some ways out there to uh, cut cans and to make this work. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing that uh, if it works for aluminum foil, if it works for this PST can, I bet it works for a beer can too. So um, we got a beer can and the easy way to take these beer cans to where you can use these, not for a cell phone necessarily, we're talking about putting a bottle inside of it, right? Um, is to file this down with the, with the file until the lid pops off. So you got this pretty smooth edge that you really need to still work on. And there's some videos out there explaining to you how to do it. So that you can put this homeopathic medicine down inside of it. And then you can put your top on top because when it's this kind of a can, it's got the slope on it, that easy one fits right on top and you're done. But I thought, you know what? I have a hard time cutting these thin cans and doing what I want to do. And it's kind of tall anyway to do this. So I thought, you know what? I've already seen a video that actually, oh yeah, Modelo, that works too. That's another prototype. Um, there's another aluminum can out there and I'm not going to advertise for them because this is nasty stuff. It's gross. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, but we're able to take this, take this can because it's thicker aluminum and actually has a cap on top that you can still unscrew and we're able to cut it in half. So there's videos out there to show you how to press this by using the bottom of another can and a press and it's supposed to stretch this out to where it slides on top easily. Well, I stretched it out and tried with the video show but it still wouldn't go on top. So what I found was that if I do this all the way around the can and crimp it in like this. Now I can put this cap on top like I want and it slides down on there a whole lot easier than it would be any other way, right? And at the same time, it'll, it may also have pressure on it. When you go to pull it apart or push it down and you can undo the cap, let the pressure off. So now you got this smaller can, thicker aluminum that you can put your homeopathic medicines inside of. Uh, but you can't put too many inside there. Maybe you can get two small ones in there. But now you've got a way to seal this up and it blocks electric, mag, electromagnetic frequencies. If somebody out there smarter than me can explain to me why this can would be different, please let me know why it wouldn't work because I can't get a cell phone inside and I don't have a flip phone that'll fit inside this to test it. And this cap's aluminum. A magnet, a magnet will not stick to it on any of this can. So as best I can tell, this actually works pretty good. So I think it's a pretty good idea for blocking electromagnetic frequencies for whatever you want to block it with. Um, works for cell phones, this ought to work. So I just thought I'd show folks how I did this. And this is a prototype and there's some better ways to cut this. Also use uh, new tin snips. It makes it a lot smoother cut than the way I did this. Hope this helps somebody out there. Thank you.